Hello everyone, this is your reading for uh, the week of September 23rd uh, to the 27th to the 28th. I wanted to give a, a reading out for everyone. Get that out of the way. But I wanted to see uh, what's going on with the energies around you, with everybody. So I'm asking the cards, we need a weekly reading for April 23rd to the 27th or 28th. A weekly reading for the 23rd to the 27th to the 28th for this week coming up. For the energies around you, for those that it matters most. Energies coming in. For energies we're experiencing. So how was everybody's week? So far, how was your month, I should say? It was a doozy for a lot of people, including myself. Let's see what we got here. Eight surprises. We got the Emperor. Let's see, got a fight. Careful them fights. These are just some of the energies that are, you know, plaguing some of us or blessing some of us. But we got the Emperor. We're going to need to take control as an overall energy. A lot of us need to take more control over our lives and what's going on around us because there's a lot going on. Starts off with a fight. There's a winner and a loser. In a fight, there's always a winner and a loser. So it's up to you whether uh, what side you're going to be on. And as I said, with the Emperor, it's all about control. And there's some manipulation going on, apparently, too. That popped out there. But the Emperor takes control. As you know, the Magician, the up, but it's in the upright. So it's like also using the tools you have. A lot of us have the ability to control certain situations and have the ability to work things out and to use our know-how to get things, get by on things. And the Emperor does rule. Now, what I'm thinking is going on with a lot of people here is the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is about, I don't know, conflict, fighting. It can get aggressive physically. But there's always a winner and a loser, like I said. I mean, someone's going to battle, and the Emperor, the Emperor, has to take control. And like I said, he has to know how to do it. Now here, we got the Three of Cups. Now some of you are going to experience the Three of Cups reverse. You may be wanting to go out and not be able to, maybe because of a conflict. Maybe because of a fight. Maybe you got in an argument with somebody. Maybe things aren't, maybe just not in the party and mood. I mean, it, it's difficult. But that energy's around you. May uh, people want to be coming, want you to go out, or you're maybe wanting to go out, and you're feeling kind of stuck and in your head with the Nine of Swords. Now, some of you are in your head about a certain situation, a nightmarish type situation. They say in these cards, but it could be just that you're bothered, and it could be over like this argument or the Emperor. It could be a totally different thing for some of you. But some of you are stuck in your head and you have the ability to get out of it because you got the magician card here stating that you can. And you got the control of the emperor. Now, we got the three of wands here. With the three of wands, usually in the upright, it's when something's coming in that possibly you like or you're looking at something going, but you're not looking for anything with this. A lot of the energies, people are not looking for anything. They're not looking uh, for the positives in your life. And you can turn this around. Remember, I, I don't know if a lot of you watched uh, some of my readings in the past, but when you uh, have a card here, it's not a major arcana, you can turn this around. Apparently, the energies are there to turn around. So if you don't like what's going on or what's coming towards you or even what's going, try to change that. Maybe uh, actually go out, turn this around, and get out of your head. Because what happens in the end, if you don't change this around, you got the Princess of Cups in reverse. And with her with her in reverse, she's not wanting to deal with anything. She's emotional. She's wearing her heart on her sleeve. You know, it's out there. So if you don't want to sit there and deal with this situation, you can turn it around. The first thing is to do is not to fight. Don't fight with your partner. Don't fight with your brother, your mother, sister, boss, whatever. Don't fight. Because someone's going to win and someone's going to lose. I know what you're thinking. I can win. But maybe you're not winning. Or you can experience other people doing this around you. I know there's a lot of uh, uh, 
negative energy still going around. It's supposed to lighten up in uh, May, but this week we got some arguments still going on. We see it in the news. We've been seeing it um, these last few months or last couple of months under this last month, just in April alone. Look what happened. Everything's going on. People are shooting people. They're hurting people. They're um, angry at the, the smallest type things. So it's saying the energy's out there to the, the to those who it is calling, you got the emperor, and the emperor is in the upright and can roll, and he's got this under control with this um, uh, uh, magician card. And you know what I said about the magician card? It's in the upright, so it's not a manipulator. If it were in reverse, and it can go in reverse if you don't watch that five of swords. If you don't want this situation to occur with a magician or you don't want it turned around, you keep it upright and use the tools that whatever, whoever, or whatever energy is giving you. Because apparently you do have the control. Go out. Have some fun. Don't fight. Don't stay in your head. Look forward to things coming towards you. Or be glad when uh, negative things leave you. Turn this around. And that way the Princess of Cups can go upright. And that is your weekly energy. And I hope to see you soon.